Hi, so let's work now on lab 4.2.4, manage files and folders. You are an IT administrator for a small corporate network. The employee using the office one computer needs your assistant managing files and folders. In this lab, your task is to use the PowerShell, which is what we've got over here. I'm just gonna make it bigger. The PowerShell to follow up with, the, with these commands. So let's start. So what they want you to do is to create a D a D directory and inside that directory they want you to add a folder called recover so let's start by typing D small D semicolon enter the reason why I type the D semicolon it's to go to the directory and now we need to create inside it I'm gonna use mkdir which means make directory make sure you type exactly what they've got over here because the PowerShell it's case sensitive which means any mistake it won't, it won't work if you do any mistakes. So let's start by capital D, semicolon, dash, utilities. I think there's a mistake in there that you should be capital letter. So I'm going to use the capital letter, utilities, dash, recover. Okay, let me double check the spelling. So, okay, so that is correct. Let's enter. Okay, so we've got what the result that we wanted. However, I want to double check again that it's been created so what i'm gonna do I'm to write dear which is means directory d two columns dash utilities enter okay so we've already checked that we've got a folder called utilities and inside that folder we've got recover so now we're going to move to our next instruction over here and it's delete so what I'm going to use is to remove, which is rm, rm dear, and then type the way it is in there, d semicolon dash software. Dash arc 98. Then remember to add a dash s because you want to delete absolutely everything inside it. Enter. So now it's asking you uh, why your n means yes or no. So I'm just going to type y and enter. Okay, so now it worked. So now I'm going to move to the next step, which is set the following files to hide, which means they're hidden. Only specific people can access those files. So to do that, what I'm going to use is attribute. And then plus H in capital letter. Make sure you write it that way. And then let's write what they've given us in the instructions. And make sure you've got no typos. Software dash ap config dot exe. Enter. Okay, that worked. Again. Hide D semicolon dash strt dot bat okay that worked for us now we need to set some of those files as read only so i'm also going to use attribute again but this time i'm going to use plus r which means stands for read and then capital d semicolon dash software dash s o f t CFG. I know this takes long to retype all this, but it doesn't allow me to copy and paste, so we need to go through all this. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the second double R, capital R, D, semicolon, dash, software, dash pixel, dot CFG. Let me just double, okay, I've brought double C. Okay, so that's it. Let me enter. And we're done with all the steps. So let's score the lab. And hopefully we've got 100. Okay, so you've got 100.